This is a walkthrough of the property. There's my van. And you can't really see much. It's mostly trees. And there's a little opening here. We pop through. And there you can you can see the house. Really tucked in the woods now. And over here is our shed. And sorry, this is probably a little bouncy. You can see the addition we put on this year to store our wood pellets. And it's getting filled up quite nicely. But there's the house. As you can see, it's our gardens don't fare very well because they're sunny right now, but most of the time they're in a pretty deep shade. There's a little one of our cats, Stubby. You can see the ivy's really climbing up the house now. We planted that when we got here. Here's the side deck. Pardon all the clutter. We are never free of clutter. Going to the little bridge. Here's the house. There's the deck. There's the pond. I don't know if you can see that white stuff in the distance. That's my my dam building, one of my three dams I'm building this year. And here we have the panoramic vista from the deck. It's always a great place to sit out. You can see my pond wall over here looks pretty good from this angle but actually a lot of it has collapsed and I have it covered by a tarp at this end. That's one of my autumn projects if I can get the strength to do it. I have to repair this whole thing and the, the rest of the wall needs to come down as well and be reseated because it's it's tipping over. Now we're crossing the bridge to the beach well, you know what? I'm going to go over here so you can see the house. Here you can see how much of the wall, how much the wall is tipping. And go over here. We'll take a little look from this side. And there you can see the house. Very nice. Oh, I think I hear, I hear Michael coming back finish my tour. Oops, and now it's looking at me, I think. And um, I'm just heading up onto the beach, do a little spin around here. Here's the big pond, there's Chris and Ron's A-frame. And you can see the beach has also become pretty much a forest with lots of stuff growing. We had a lot of water lilies this year and they've all been eaten by something. Muskrats, we think, are what eat them. So there's no water lilies. There's one water lily plant here that's the oldest one we have. The rest of them are gone. And you can see our beach is just completely overgrown. I started to pull the weeds up to get back to the sand this year, but it was the beach or the dams, and the dams were a little bit more important than the beach was. So, that is the tour. Here we are, heading back. I'll take you actually to the little garden, the garden that doesn't grow anything but weeds, but I'll take you there anyway. Michael putting away dishes and groceries. And here we go. Back up the path toward the parking area. Hello. It's Cookie LaRue. Cookie. Cookie LaRue. Cookie, cookie, look up, cookie. Look up, cook. Oh, there you go. And my, my 
compost pile. And here's our lovely little garden where nothing grows but weeds. Um, we had tomatoes. Everything's been eaten by something. Um, there's a few, I don't know if there's squash or what they are growing. But it's a, it's just a kind of a disaster. Even Michael's roses, this was a huge rose bush this spring and it's just been eaten by something like crazy. So, that's it. I think that's the end of the tour. And, uh, yep. That will be the end of the tour. I hope you enjoyed the view.